Hi. I forgot what I was doing. Um, all right. I hit my monitor. Anyways. Uh, brain fart. Um, yep. I have a bucket. <laughs> I don't know why I call this a bucket, but it's, you know, I don't care. It's a bucket. It is a bucket. And inside the bucket, I have hard drives. This is the first one I got. The Maxter Diamond Max Plus 8. Ignore that noise. Uh, 40 gigabyte. Gig gigabyte? Yeah, gigabyte. Uh, and I got it uh, because a, it was, I was in elementary school and our teacher had a virus on their computer had to get the hard drive replaced because I guess that was easier than trying to fix the virus or reinstall XP. I mean, they had to reinstall XP anyways, but still. It's easier than trying to get the virus off. And uh, I, I can't remember if I asked or if they just saw my interest, but I now have the hard drive. And if I'm ever saying anything about when I was younger, I... I, I can't remember stuff like that, but I do have other drives in here. I have this. This is also a Dynamax Plus 8 with 40 gigabytes on it. Then I have this one. This one, which is a Maxter, but I have no idea what it is. I can't, because there's no, all the information, all the markings have rubbed off. And then, after that, that's all the 40, that's all the 40 gig or unknown hard drives. But there's two in particular I want to talk about. First of all, I have a, I have a floppy drive. And I have a hundred floppy disks, and I just put one in there for demonstration. And also fun. Because let's be real here, this is fun. This is very fun. But not only do I have this, which I'm pretty sure is, you know, I know it's, three and a half inch, but it's all, but it might also be, uh, 1.44, I can't remember, um, because there's no markings on here that give me any hint as to when this was made. Yeah, I can't figure out when this was made. I do know, obviously, that I was made. I just don't know when. I'm saying that for all the you know, smart, smart people. There's just this chip on there. And, yeah, that's the floppy drive in there. But I also have this. It's a Western Digital Caviar 22500. It is a 2.1 or 2.5. I it do, it can't it can't agree with itself because the board on the back right there it says 2.1 gigs, but on the front it says 2559.8 megabytes. Because to me, that sounds like 2.5 gigabytes. So which one is it? But that's besides the point. Point is, I've had plans for a while that I've never done because money and also quarantine um, to make a 386SX machine. And this is period accurate in terms of capacity and probably in terms of time period because let's be real here, if they could make better, bigger drives, they would make bigger, bigger drives. 
Ugh. The nose. The nose is just kind of... But yeah, I have this. This is... Um, if I ever make... Get around to making that 386 SX PC build, I'm putting this in there, and I'm putting this floppy drive in there. So, I'm going to put that drive back in, and I'm going to click the uh, floppy drive more, because I like it. This is a great fidget toy. I like the noise. Um, just put that back all in there, and then I will shut the bucket. The bucket is now shut. Put it on the ground, and I'm going to put it in my closet later when I'm done recording. But, yeah. So those are going to be used to make a 3D6. I'm going to freaking do my... There we go. I'm fix my hair up again, because apparently it's important that you have hair and that you brush it and crap. I don't really care, but apparently it's healthy, and apparently people like it when you look good, which I honestly don't freaking care about. <laughs> um, but yeah. I have a LibreOffice document. And I have an idea. I'm going to move that there. There we go. But yeah, and I found a bunch of stuff. Go away, Twitter. Uh, so let's control click. And that's going to open up this listing, which is the potential 3D6SX motherboard I'm looking at. So, actually, you know what? That works. So, this is the one I've been looking at. You can see it's got a you know, bank of Sims, it's got the and right down there, AM36 SX33. It's not an SX40, but it'll do seven ISA slots, one of which is eight, but who cares? And, you know, all those SIMs, and then the ATX power connector, and the not PS2. I forget what it's called. Whoa. Take your time. And as you can see, it works. I don't know what that program is. Um, it has aim values, mmm, colors. Doesn't give a good look at the connectors. At least for me. Yeah, like, that connector right there, I know it's not PS2, because there's only one of them, and if it was PS2, there'd be two, one for keyboard, one for mouse. There's only one. I can't remember what it is. It's like... Because, like, it was used from the original PC up to the AT. But I can't remember what the name is. Like, is it just XT or AT? I can't remember. But that's the motherboard. You can see the price. You can see the potential price. I have it listed on here. What the price is, depending on whether or not I use the freaking eBay coupon they keep on trying to get me, make, get me to use. Then I have this, which is a multifunction card I found. And I had to make sure, because the other ones had 25 pin, had a 25 pin par parallel that also act as serial, and then it had a game port. I didn't want a game port, but this is exactly what I want. I don't really need the extra bracket, but mm, maybe. But yeah, that's the multifunction card. It's Gold Star Prime. And then, then the only other one that I found is this Trident TVGA 9000C. And just, yeah, it, it works and apparent, yeah, it's a Trident, it works. As far as I know, it says, it says good working condition, please see pictures attached. And if it says somewhere where it's from. Na, 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 na. It's in here somewhere. Uh, shipping from Russia. Yeah, I'm get <laughs> yeah, getting it from Russia. 
Maya. And then I need to find a sound card, I need to find a networking card, I already have the hard drive, floppy disk drive. I need a, I want, look for a second floppy disk drive, a CD-ROM drive, I need a keyboard, I need a mouse, oh, I need a case. Potentially need a case. And you know what, I just, wait, it did, I remember reading on there that it has, eh, trying to get the, Trying to f which way did the bangs go? I don't know, but they're I don't want them in my face. <clears throat> but uh Yeah, I know if they replaced the Try again. You fool. Should be working. You were working literally less than a minute ago. There we go. It's tested, working, boot up. I believe it's shipping from Moldova. And yeah, new battery installed. I don't know what the battery is though. Where is it? Where's the battery? Do do. Where's where where's the battery? I legitimately can't find it. Was that the battery? No, it doesn't look like a battery. Uh is uh, it looks like a more like a capacitor. Where is it? Where's the battery? I I'm legitimately confused. I can't find the battery. Either that or I'm just looking right over it. <laughs> like, is it that thing? Is it? Is that the battery? Ugh. Where is it? What? What? Where's the battery? What? Is it on the back? Can't tell. Where's the? Where? I mean, that has to be the battery. But that doesn't look like a battery. It looks like a freaking capacitor. What is that? Is that the battery? What? Is that the battery? Let me get a look at the thing that may or may not be the battery. Um. Ugh. Ugh. What is it? What is it? What is it? Let's have the uh, AT power connector, and we can see all of those eight sims. They're all filled in. <sighs> it has on board two mid megabit of RAM, megabyte or megabit. I can't tell because it's a lowercase b. And here's just the images. This is what it looks like on boot. High memory area not available. Loading DOS low. Hmm, that's 
it has it has, it says it has two megabytes so that's not right The Norton Commander version 5.5 .5 by Semantic. And let's see. It's freaking glare. Type 47 hard disk. That's what he used it with. Ambi Ami BIOS date 12 1291. Display type VGA, PGA, EGA. Numeric processor none. Floppy drives none. Base memory size 640K. Now let's go look at these. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this neon nightmare. <laughs> and then here's check it. Oh, there is expanded memory. Oh, but there's there is it it's it, there's extended memory, but there's no expanded memory. What wait, what's the difference? What is the difference? I really do not understand DOS crap. Uh, um, pass. CPU general functions. Pass. CPU interrupt bug. Pass. CPU 32-bit multiply. CPU protector mode. A286 above. Uh, skipped. Number processing unit arithmetic functions. And trigger, man trigger functions. And comparison functions. Pass DMA controllers and pass interrupt controllers. Wait, no. Interrupt. Yeah, interrupt controllers. Base memory. Extended memory. Expanded memory. Shut up. Quick memory test only. Yee. Pass. Program buffers. Pass. Base memory. Yeah. Pass. Extended memory. Not tested. Expanded memory. Pass. High address lines. How awesome. So yeah, it it works, but I can't figure out what the freaking battery is. I mean, is that the battery? I should probably ask. Is that the battery, or maybe it's like the one of those like under ROM batteries? It might be. That's very possible. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna not gonna spend time with this any longer. But yeah, that's just kind of the list and stuff I need to do if I ever want to make a 36. And by the way, I have like a hundred pack of floppy disks. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, you have an awesome day. Do whatever you want and, you know, stay safe because crap's happening. So, you know, stay home, stay safe, have an awesome day. Peace.